Hi everybody, I'm Justin from Main Man Bassing. In this video, I'm gonna unpack and review 13 Fishing Source K Spinning Reel 2000. If you're new to the channel, I do product reviews, fishing adventures, and how-to videos that all revolve around bass fishing in the Northeast. I'd love to have you as a sub, so hit that subscribe button. Also, at any point in the video, you'd like to own this reel right now, there'll be links in the description box, most likely Amazon. You can click the links and take it from there. 13 fishing. <laughs> and I know it's 13 fishing because I called them. Um, I used, uh, before, prior to calling them, I thought it was 1-3 fishing. So I called them. Uh, and actually I called them because uh, on the, their label, their labeling uh, that their rotor frame and handle are made out of HTS, but they don't say what HTS means and it's not on their website. And I called them and the person in product information didn't know. Uh, he gave me some phone numbers of other people. So I sent them emails and I don't have an answer yet. So but I checked some forums and what they're saying is the uh, HTS is high tensile strength. And according to the forums, people believe that it's graphite and it does kind of feel like graphite. So it's going to be a strong, durable, non-flexible graphite i think that's why I, I think that's what i'm going with um, but that's what it is uh your spool is aluminum for sure that's gonna hold at six pounds 195 eight pounds 130 10 pounds 110 that's the 2000 it has a fat bell wire that's actually the whole bail system is pretty well balanced. Not a lot of pressure to open, not a lot to close. It doesn't shake the whole reel when you close it. Feels kind of good actually. Um, this, they're not marketing a roller bearing and it doesn't look like a roller bearing. It's like it rolls, but it's one whole unit. So it's, I, I don't think that's a roller bearing. And then there, are, it says four plus one roller bearings around the main shaft. That plus one is most likely an anti-reverse. There is an anti-reverse switch, which is right here. And I, I, I really like that location. A little bit of pressure to open and close it, but that's good. For those of you who don't know what anti-reverse is, it allows the reel to go backwards. So this kind of takes the place of drag a lot. Like I'll, I'll set my hook and I'll open the anti-reverse, fight the fish. When it's near the boat, I'll lock it so it can't go anywhere. I'll open up that drag in case if it does peel off and dive, it won't snap my line. And then I'll get the net. Uh, so the anti-reverse, that location is really good. Speaking of drag, you have eight pounds max drag up here. And they're they're really raving about this feature. It's like the one feature they're promoting. They're saying it's a six disc drag, multi-drag disc system. Multi, no, six. Six disc drag system is what they're, is what they're saying. And then it is, it is rather smooth. I don't like, I'm not a big fan of anyways, this small, like that dial is like the size of my thumb, right? Like a, like a little bit bigger and your fingers fumble around a little bit to get it, but it is a lot smoother. Kind of reminds me of Daiwa. I'll turn and drag a little bit, uh, but it is smooth. It is smooth. <clears throat> this handles a soft touch knob. It's kind of like a, like a rubberized plastic. You know, it's not super soft, but it is. Has a little more give than that, that uh, raw plastic handle on some of the lower end units. See, it's really weird. They're 13 fishing, but then like right here, they say, one three soft touch knob 
Like, what is going on with this company? <laughs> It's going to be your gear ratio is going to be 5.1 to 1. So it's going to be on the slower end, something you want uh, in the strikes, like a lure presentation you want in the strike zone for a long time, like crankbait, jerkbait, um, lipless crankbait, something that, you know, you, you want in the water for a long time. Um, it's not going to be fast at all. It's going to be slow. They don't tell, they don't say exactly how many inches is brought in per revolution. Uh, my guess would be somewhere around 24, 25 inches per revolution. But yeah, so those are really all the features. Um, it's a $30 reel, I'm not expecting too much. I have, I will get this on the water this summer. Got a couple of reels ahead of it. I'm kind of backlogged here. Um, and I'll let you know how it performs. I'm not expecting a lot, you know, it's, it's a, it's a cheaper reel and, but I just wanted to check out this company and see what they have to offer. But that's it. That's the, that's the review. I hope you like, I hope you like it. I hope it gave you good perspective. Um, if you were thinking about picking these up or you wanted to try this brand out, if you're new, I'd love to have you hit that subscribe button. If you want to own one of these, It'll be links in the description box, most likely Amazon. You can click and take it from there. I hope you have a great fishing season, and I hope you catch real big bass. Thanks.